Hello everybody, this is Donnie, and the date today is August 20th, 2015. I am going to be starting my C Sharp Programming Logic lectures over from scratch on YouTube this semester because the other ones that I made, I kind of just whipped them up for my web development class and I wasn't really happy with them, uh, the amount of detail that I went into for my C Sharp class. So I'm going to redo them all starting now and I hope this time they'll probably be about three times as long and in-depth as they were the last time I made them for my HTML students. So uh, I'm going to start off with this video where we're not going to get into coding, but the very first step that you're going to need to take is downloading Visual Studio. So the first thing, make sure you have a Microsoft account. So set a Microsoft account. If you do not have a Microsoft account, just go to Google, type in set up Microsoft account and follow the directions. It's pretty straightforward. If you're running Windows uh, on your machine, chances are you probably already have one, like I do. So now um, we want to type in in Google um, download. You can type in it. Visual Studio. And I'm going to add one word here, community. So maybe some of you know that recently, well, until recently, Visual Studio, which is the uh, piece of software that we use to code in Microsoft.NET languages, uh, was not free until recently. So they recently made it free, and the name of the free version, if you will, is community. So that might help get you where you're trying to go. Download Visual Studio Community, and pretty much the first link that you see is from visualstudio.com. And I've never actually downloaded or installed Community 2015 before myself, so this is going to be a new experience for me too. And I think it might be a good idea for me to just go ahead and sign into my Microsoft account. And I'll just click download Community 2015 and see what happens. So I'll launch that guy. There might be a lot of long, awkward silences in this video because I'm installing a very large piece of software. And I can't think of any good stories to tell at the moment. All right, so Community 2015, choose whatever path you want. I'll leave that as default. Um, I think I'm just going to go with typical because it says C Sharp VB Web and Desktop. That sounds fine. So I'll leave it typical. Just go ahead and click yes. And now it says I have to restart my computer. Well, that's fun. So I will be back in a couple of seconds. So now that the computer is restarted, Visual Studio 2015 community should be installed. Uh, to find it, you'll have to go to your start menu and on Windows 8 that start menu of course looks like this and to find what you're looking for you have to start typing it in so Visual Studio there it is right there and I'm going to go ahead and pin that to my start menu so I don't have to do that again alright so starting Visual Studio 2015 for the first time in my life and it always starts up really really fast of course That was sarcasm. So here we go. Now I need to sign in. This is why you need a Microsoft account. So I'm going to go ahead and sign into my Microsoft account. Eventually. So this should be the email address that is associated with your Microsoft account. And type in your password. Hello. We're preparing for first use. This may take a few minutes. Okay.
All right, there we go. So this is Visual Studio. This is the IDE. And this big thing with all this information that you see here is called the Start Page. You can see this little tab over here. Um, you could leave it there if you want, but most people that I know really don't like this thing. And there's a little check mark here down at the bottom. If you scroll down, so you can uncheck st Show Page on Startup. And then if I close the start page, and I just completely close Visual Studio and then start it again, hopefully I won't I won't see that next time. Go ahead and start it again. This time it's going to open hopefully pretty quickly. And here it is. So this is what you see when you open Visual Studio, and you're ready to go. So at this point, um, that is how you install Visual Studio Community Edition. Um, I just want to make one final note. Please be aware, I, I know it might seem obvious, but be aware that there are multiple versions of Visual Studio in existence. There is, um, I think, 2010, 2012, 2013, 2015, if memory serves. And also it's very important to remember that Visual Studio is already installed on every computer on campus. So if you're on campus and using the computers in the classroom or the computer lab, you do not need to install Visual Studio like we just did. This is just instruction for how to install it on your home computer. Um, and that leads into another important point. I'm not sure what version of uh, Visual Studio is installed in the computer labs and in the classrooms right now. It's probably 2012 or 2013 or something like that. Um, it doesn't matter because everything that we're going to be doing this in this class will be very basic and it will not be using any features that don't work on the older versions. So even if you're using 2010 or whatever, um, everything that we do here, all the code that we write in this class, will work on really any uh, version of Visual Studio, hopefully. So um, I think the important thing is if you're going to install the community edition on your home laptop or computer. Uh, I would, you know, I obviously I just did install 2015 community edition and I'm going to be using that f uh, for all of my lectures going forward um, for the for the rest of the lectures for this C sharp class. So I would suggest getting that version um, on your home laptop. There might be a few subtle differences between like 2013 and 2015 and 2010, but I, I really doubt it'll be uh, significant in any way that will affect our class. If you notice anything that you think is really important, just let me know and uh, I'll, I'll bring it to the attention of the rest of the class. So the next couple of videos I'm going to do are going to be just talking about Visual Studio. What, what is it? What does it do? What is it for? How to kind of navigate through it and um, just to get started creating your first project. So really the purpose of this was just to show you how to download it and to install it and as you can see it was really straightforward. You pretty much just click on it and as long as you have a Microsoft account you should be able to get it on your computer no problem. Alright so in the next video I will talk about uh, how to use it.